welcome back to my channel. As you can see, my background is a bit empty. That's because we're going to be doing a bit of remodeling next week in my room, which I'm going to show you soon in a room tour video. Today I'm going to be doing a beauty haul which contains products of Kiko, Catrice and MUA. Um, I'm just going to show you everything I bought in the span of a month and I'm going to, from the products that I've tried, I'm going to give you a quick small review and I hope you enjoy, so keep on watching. This is the Smart Lipstick in the colour Amaranth and it's a bit of a purplish red colour, perfect for autumn. Unfortunately, the Smart Lipsticks do not stay on your lips the entire day or very long. You have to reapply every hour or so. But the pigmentation is really good. This is the Smart Lipstick in the colour Watermelon. It's a really nice pinkish colour, although I would rather wear this in summer. It isn't really pigmented, but I think it's a really good nude lipstick. This is the Smart Lipstick in the colour Crimson Red. As you can see throughout this video, I love my red colours. And this is a really bright and vibrant red. And I think I would only wear this uh, when I go out because it's a really nice party colour. This is the Smart Lipstick in the colour Cherry Red, my favourite colour of all. And it's a really dark red colour and I think it really suits me. And I wear this at parties or at work, basically whenever I can, because it's such a lovely colour. This is the Smart Lipstick in the colour Pastel Pink. I don't think this really suits me because it makes me look really pale. But the lipstick is very good, although it's not very pigmented, so I think if you want to wear this properly, you have to try a lip liner underneath. This is the Luscious Cream Lipstick in the colour Magenta. I have not tested this out yet, as you can see probably from the lipstick itself. I think it's more red than purple, although I think that this would look really good. I still have to try it though. <laughs> This is the Crystal Sheer Lipstick in the colour Rose Quartz and it's a bit of a peachy pink colour which I think is perfect for summer. I probably need to wear a lip liner underneath to really make the colour come through. But overall, a very nice lipstick. This is the Intensely Lavish Lipstick in the colour Luscious Red. I think this is one of my favourite red colours, it's really bright and out there and poppy and uh, this is one of the more luxurious lipsticks haven't tried it out yet but you can probably watch a review on my website link down below in the description this is the color sphere eyeshadow in the color golden white multicolor and i think this is perfect for christmas it catch my eye as soon as i saw it on the website it's very glittery so that's why i think it's best for christmas but i'm probably going to wear it a lot of other times this is the Perfect Base Corrector Primer and it's probably one of the best primers I've ever tried. It really corrects any red redness in your face and it makes your makeup really stay on all day. It's perfect. This is the Universal Fit Hydrating Foundation in the colour Cool Rose. It doesn't have a really high coverage and I have a bit of an oily skin, but I decided to try it and it's perfect for my face. It covers up just the right amount of things without looking cakey. This is the natural concealer in the color medium. This is the most perfect concealer you will ever find, so please go buy it. It's not wrong for the price, although it's a really small packaging, so you have to repurchase again and again but I promise you this will be perfect for you, for everyone. This is the Eyebrow Designer Gel in the colour Transparent. Um, it's just a basic eyebrow gel and I've never used any other eyebrow gel so I don't know which to compare it with. But for me, it is quite okay. Although, I don't know if I would buy it again though. Mm -hmm. 
This is the Undress Your Skin Shimmer Highlighter in the color Pink Shimmer. It's just the right amount of pink and it really highlights your cheekbones, although you shouldn't use too much of it because it makes your skin really, really shiny and it's really, really pigmented. This is the Merged Baked Trio Eyeshadow in the color Emotions and these are absolutely amazing. They are so incredibly shiny and on the back you have a way to pair these three eyeshadows in the perfect look. Really good for Christmas. This is the Prime and Fine Mattifying Powder in the color Transparent and this has been perfect so far. It really mattifies my face and it's perfectly for the people who are a bit pale in their face and don't want to look more white in the colored powders, so this one's perfect for you. This is the Sun Glow Baked Mineral Bronzing Powder in the color Golden Light, and this has been perfect for my skin. My, most bronzers are a bit too dark for me, but this is perfect, and it gives a really nice glow to your face. Really lights your face up.